The movie began with a young man named Wayne dealing with three delinquents. Wayne and the three delinquents stared at each other angrily at first. However, they grew tired of it over time. Wayne was then told to leave by one of the young men. The young man then threw a lump of hardened snow at Wayne's bicycle because he didn't move from his spot. Wayne then picked up the snowflake and tossed it onto the workshop building behind the boys, breaking the windows. Soon after, the workshop owner appeared and scolded the three miscreants in front of his shop. However, because the three young delinquents pointed to Wayne as the one who had broken the window glass, the owner of the repair shop beat Wayne while the three young delinquents smashed Wayne's bicycle into pieces. Wayne became irritated and broke the workshop window again before walking away, leaving his broken bicycle behind. The scene then shifts to Wayne walking towards his home. As Wayne is about to enter his house, a man with his dog approaches him. Mr. Hernandez is his landlord, and he intends to collect rent from Wayne's father. Because Mr. Hernandez insisted on Wayne paying the rent, Wayne threw the sticks he was carrying, causing Mr. Hernandez's dog to chase him down and injure his hand. There was a knock on the door not long after Wayne had entered the house. Wayne, mistaking Mr. Hernandez, slammed the door open in rage. But what arrived was a girl named Delilah, or Del for short, who wanted to sell cookies to Wayne. Wayne was immediately drawn to Del and invited her into his home to try to catch her attention. The next day at Hagler High, Wayne discovers that some of his books have gone missing from his locker. Wayne went straight to the principal to report the incident. Two students in the principal's room fled as soon as Wayne entered the room. Wayne immediately reported that his textbooks had vanished from his locker. Instead, the principal told him to leave his room. When Wayne was about to return to class, he noticed some boys bullying his best friend, Orlando, a young man. Without hesitation, Wayne approached them, beat up the bully, and assisted Orlando. Following that, Wayne went to Dell's house to purchase cookies from her. Soon after, while Wayne and Dell were walking alone, Dell's father and brothers approached them and promptly beat Wayne. That night, Wayne ran into his father, who was lying sick, and his father gave him an envelope full of money. Wayne was about to go to the person who had set off the firecrackers, but his father asked him to stay and showed him a photo. A man and a woman are seen posing in front of a car in the photograph. Wayne's father claimed that the car had been stolen from him. Wayne then ran away, intending to beat up the person who set off the firecrackers because the sound bothered his father. He discovered two boys who appeared to enjoy setting off firecrackers and fireworks. Wayne then took all of the remaining firecrackers and fireworks before the boys relit them. He happened to notice two boys who appeared to be happy with their parents outside the house. Wayne, the only child from a broken home, can only look down on the other children who have complete families and both parents who adore them. Wayne was devastated to learn that his father had died peacefully in his bed when he returned home. Wayne then gathered all of the necessary supplies and dashed off to meet Mr. Hernandez to hand over a large envelope. Wayne had duped Mr. Hernandez, who thought the envelope contained money, because the envelope only contained paper. Not only that, but Wayne then set fire to his house and the body of his father inside. In retaliation for the man hitting him, he also set fire to Dell's father's dog kennel. Then he strolled into Dell's house, past her brothers who were watching television in the living room, and into Dell's room. Wayne's arrival is intended to invite Dell to recover his father's stolen car. Dell accepted Wayne's invitation without hesitation. Dell's brother attempted to stop them before they left. Wayne, on the other hand, defeated them both by dropping a television from the top of the stairs. Dell's father tries to stop Wayne and Dell from leaving when they are out of the house. Wayne, on the other hand, attacked him with fireworks aimed directly at him. Wayne and Dell's father had a heated argument before Wayne recklessly bit Dell's father's nose and fled on a motorcycle with Delegate Wayne and Dell traveled to Ocala, Florida, which is thought to be the car's current location. Wayne and Dell stopped in the woods after a long journey to look for food. Dell, on the other hand, did not enjoy the food Wayne had prepared for her. Meanwhile, Dell's father and brothers are at the police station reporting Wayne's assault on them, as well as Delilah, who they claim has been kidnapped by Wayne. Turning to Wayne and Dell, they are eating at a simple diner. Dell walked away from the table and went to the restroom. Soon after, Dell appears to call Wayne from a distance and ask him to buy sanitary napkins from a nearby store, which Wayne does. Wayne, on the other hand, has to go to several stores because he is embarrassed and hesitant to buy sanitary napkins. When Wayne was about to enter a convenience store, he ran into a delinquent. Wayne rushed to the cashier's desk after obtaining some of the equipment required by Delaware, but then he noticed the delinquent man intimidating a female convenience store employee, who turned out to be his girlfriend. Wayne did not remain silent either. He chained the bad kid to a power pole and destroyed his bike. Wayne returned to the diner in a hurry, but by the time he arrived, Dell had already left. Wayne finally noticed Dell, who appeared to be fleeing the scene. She looked irritated because she thought Wayne had abandoned her, and she mocked him a little for his rude attitude and frequent fights with other people. Dell also questioned Wayne, who seemed unsure about the purpose of their trip, and decided to return home. Dell asked Wayne not to follow her, so Wayne complied and chose to return to where they had spent the night in the forest. 
When Wayne arrived, he noticed two teenage boys searching his belongings. When Wayne arrived, the two boys were shocked and terrified, pleading with him not to kill them. Wayne volunteered to give away his jacket after one of the boys expressed interest in it. Knowing Wayne is arguing with Dell, whom he regards as his girlfriend, the two teenage boys advise him not to give up and to go after Delegate Wayne then inquires about the distance to the bus stop and expresses an interest in riding his motorcycle there. But his motorcycle ran out of gas, and if he walked, he wouldn't be able to catch Dell to the bus stop in time. One of the boys suggested that a shortcut could be taken to get to the bus stop faster. However, because the shortcut turns out to be a golf course, the road is guarded by a delinquent named Lee Ray. Wayne, on the other hand, didn't care because the most important thing to him was to fight for Delilah. As soon as Wayne stepped onto the golf course, he was met by Lee Ray, who was standing guard with a rifle. Wayne was warned not to enter the area by Lee Ray. Lee Ray shot Wayne because he insisted. The scene then shifts to Dell at the bus stop. Dell then gets into a fight with a ticket seller named Tracy, who turns out to be a saleswoman at the diner she and Wayne previously visited. Meanwhile, Lee Ray kidnaps Wayne and confines him in his home. Lee Ray allegedly shot a blank bullet and threatened to kill Wayne if he told anyone about the shooting. Soon after, Lee Ray's girlfriend, Kyra, arrived, clearly upset that Lee Ray had not gotten rid of Wayne. Lee Ray apparently still sympathized with Wayne, whom he saw as a spoiled snotty adolescent, even though Kyra did not. Lee Ray suggested to Kyra that she give Wayne one more chance, and Kyra seemed to agree before presenting Wayne with a knife challenge. They will release Wayne if he completes the challenge. Meanwhile, Dell and Tracy reconcile after their feud and appear to be having a heart-to-heart. -heart. Tracy tells Dell about Wayne, who despises coffee but is willing to spend three cups on her, and thinks Wayne isn't as bad as Dell thought. When Dell decides to accompany Tracy, she runs into two teenage boys, one of whom is wearing a Wayne jacket. Dell then approached the two teenage boys, who informed her that Lee Ray was holding Wayne captive. Dell appears unexpectedly with a woodcutter after Kyra has made her turn and tells Wayne to complete her challenge. Dell attacks Lee Ray with the woodcutter while Wayne distracts Kyra. Dell and Wayne are successful in immobilizing Lee Ray, but Kyra then picks up the rifle that Lee Ray dropped and points it at Wayne and Delegate Tracy appears and knocks Kyra unconscious after she is almost pushed. Following that, Wayne and Dell reconciled and decided to remain friends before continuing their trip to Florida. Wayne and Dell went to the convenience store to buy some equipment after refueling their motorcycle. Meanwhile, Dell's father, with the assistance of Sergeant Geller and Mr. Hernandez, continues to search for Dell and Wayne. That night, in the middle of a downpour, Dell was seen giving money to a prostitute and asking for her assistance so that she and Wayne could stay in a simple motel. The woman then agreed to Dell's request and found a room for them. The next day at Hagler High, police interviewed several students to assist them in their investigation of Wayne's crimes. Instead, Orlando told Sergeant Geller and his colleagues that Wayne's absence would have exacerbated the bullying at school. Wayne would not remain silent in the face of seeing students who were frequently bullied while the school did nothing to eliminate bullying cases. Meanwhile, Dell and Wayne were getting ready to swim in the artificial swimming pool at the motel where they were staying when they were surprised by a busload of people arriving. They are tourists who intend to have a good time by visiting some bad ends. Dell asks Wayne to disguise their identity in front of the tourists now that Wayne is a fugitive suspected of kidnapping Delegate Dell appeared to enjoy spending time with the tourists, drinking and playing games with them, but not Wayne, who seemed worried that his true identity would be revealed and they would report him to the police. Wayne appears to be at odds with a young man who regards him as a master liar during a game of truth or dare. Wayne then challenges the young man to ride his bike from the motel's upstairs balcony and dive into the pool. Because the young man believed it was impossible, he declined the challenge. But then Wayne proves that nothing is impossible, and he completed the challenge. The owner of the motel called the police after discovering that his property had been vandalized. Dell and Wayne hurried away, as did the tourists, who fled immediately, though they were eventually apprehended. Dell and Wayne successfully hide and outweat the cops before finally preparing to flee. When Dell checked her bag, she discovered that all of her money had vanished, and she assumed that the thief was the woman prostitute who had assisted them the night before. Meanwhile, two men were seen in Ocala, Florida, one of whom was the man in Wayne's father's photo. The two men were in a car that was thought to be Wayne's father's. A caravan trailer collided with their parked car. Without thinking, the two men got out of the car and destroyed the caravan trailer. Wayne and Dell hide in one of the houses about to be rented out after successfully evading the police. After losing all of their money, Dell and Wayne were finally able to spend the night in a comfortable place and clean up. But then the real estate agent in charge of the house arrived, accompanied by a couple looking to rent the luxury home. Dell outwitted them by placing a vase of flowers on top of the real estate agent's luxury car, and they eventually managed to flee before being apprehended and reported to the police. Meanwhile, Sergeant Geller and his subordinate, an officer named Jay, are seen preparing to travel to Florida in order to locate Wayne before he gets into trouble in Florida, which is outside of his jurisdiction. 
Sergeant Geller wants to get to know Wayne better and believes he deserves a second chance at life. Meanwhile, because they don't have any money and are out of gas, Dell suggests Wayne work as a casual day laborer. Despite his lack of construction experience, Wayne finally took Dell's advice. Dell, on the other hand, appears to have gone to a pawn shop and is about to pawn her late mother's necklace. However, she meets a woman and her daughter who appear to be in desperate need of money for her husband's funeral, and Dell decides to assist her in obtaining the funds from the pawn shop. Wayne is verbally abused at work by his boss, but he tries to restrain himself because he is currently in need of money. When they returned home and met Dell that evening, they were overheard discussing the woman's husband's funeral, and Dell insisted on attending the funeral. The following day, Wayne is seen at work when he accidentally destroys the wrong wall. Wayne received another reprimand from his boss. His co-workers quickly defended him, claiming that the wall was moldy and had to be demolished. His boss didn't say anything else and simply told them to get back to work. Meanwhile, Dell is seen in a shopping mall, where he plans to buy a black dress to wear to the woman's husband's funeral. But she was hesitant because the dress was quite expensive. Surprisingly, one of the store employees sympathized with Dell and offered her the black dress for free. Dell went to church after that. When I returned my attention to Wayne, who was sitting alone, one of his co-workers approached him and offered him his lunch. Wayne gratefully accepts the food and thanks the man for defending him in front of their boss regarding the mold on the wall. Wayne was told after lunch that their boss would take casual day laborers who were illegal immigrants to the immigration office so that he wouldn't have to pay their wages. Wayne, unable to remain silent in the face of bullying, steals his boss's car and pursues them. He rushed to assist his co-workers after successfully stopping the car and immobilizing his boss. He informed them that because they were legal immigrants, their boss intended to report them to the immigration office and that they would not be paid. When they realized this, the illegal immigrants thanked Wayne and left. Wayne then arrived at church, having followed Dell to the funeral of the woman's husband. Meanwhile, Dell's father was spotted filling up his car at a gas station in North Carolina. Dell's father and brothers have traveled to Florida in search of Dell after learning that Wayne may have gone there. Soon after, a man dressed elegantly approached Dell's father and yelled at him for passing his car on the way to the gas station. Dell's father remained calm even as the man continued to hurl insults at him before finally dumping gasoline on him. The man begged Dell's forgiveness, believing that his father would burn him alive. However, Dell's father only scares the man before continuing his journey to Florida. Wayne and Dell, who are in a fast food restaurant, are forced to wait for customers who have paid but have not finished their food because they lack funds. When Wayne went to the restroom, some men from the school disciplinary committee stormed the restaurant, thinking Dell was one of the students who had skipped school. Dell was eventually taken away by force because she refused to be taken away, despite claiming that she wasn't a student at the school and fighting back. Wayne, who had just exited the restroom, then asked the restaurant employee where Dell was, who informed him that Dell had been removed by the school disciplinary officer. Wayne dashed outside and attempted to pursue them. Dell is seen serving her sentence with two schoolgirls named Trish and Jenny when she arrives at Alabaster High, and they quickly form close friendships with the two of them. Meanwhile, Wayne's best friend, Orlando, is seen with the principal at an inn on their way to Florida to meet Wayne. Orlando believes Wayne is not who Dell's father claims he is because he is not a bad person and would not have started a fight if it had not been for previous bullying or intimidation. Wayne, on the other hand, finally arrives at Alabaster High. He desperately rides his motorcycle through the school corridors in search of Delegate Dell slipped out of the library and rushed off to ride a motorcycle with Wayne after hearing Wayne's distinctive motorcycle engine. Sergeant Geller also meets Wayne's former boss, who reports to the police that Wayne assaulted him and injured his hand with a drill. Sergeant Geller soon discovered, however, that the man was frequently defrauding the casual daily laborers, particularly illegal immigrants, in order to avoid paying them. Dell and Wayne reunite with Trish and Jenny, who plan to take them to a school dance. Dell appears to be excited and intends to attend the party, but Wayne does not believe the party is particularly bad. Jenny then invites Dell and Wayne to her home and offers them clothes to wear to the party. However, Wayne, who did not appear to be interested in attending the party, told Dell that she could stay and go to the party if she so desired because Wayne was planning to continue his trip to Florida. Dell scolded Wayne, but he walked away, leaving Dell and her new friends behind. Wayne took the time to stop by a fast food restaurant and be reminded of the importance of fighting for the woman he loves because opportunities don't come around every day. Dell is approached by a handsome young man who invites her to dance that night at a party. Dell, on the other hand, declined because she was still expecting Wayne. Wayne unexpectedly arrived at the party wearing a chic pink suit. Wayne became enraged when he saw Dell being approached by another man. He does not, however, resort to violence, instead kneeling in front of Dell and inviting her to dance with him. Wayne and Dell appeared to be having a good time on the dance floor, doing some unusual moves. Following that, Wayne and Dell leave the building to be alone and clear up the earlier misunderstanding, during which Wayne reveals that he does not want to take away the things that make Dell happy and impose his will on her. 
Dell appeared moved upon hearing this and realized that she actually wanted to be with Wayne and only wanted to do things that would make her happy together with Wayne. But then, in the middle of their conversation, Dell's father and brothers appeared and attacked Wayne. In retaliation for what Wayne had done to them, they all beat Wayne up. When Wayne was pressed, the students of Alabaster High burst out of the building, attacking Dell's father and brothers in order to help Wayne. Despite his injuries, Wayne managed to get up and, with the assistance of Dell, he made his way to his motorcycle and hurriedly left the scene. Meanwhile, Sergeant Geller and his partner, Jay, are still attempting to locate Wayne. Jay then informed Sergeant Geller that Dell's father had found his daughter with Wayne and was seen beating Wayne in a video uploaded to social media a few minutes ago by one of Dell's brothers. Wayne and Dell then make their way back to Jenny's house. Dell suggested they go to the hospital to treat Wayne's injuries after seeing his serious condition. Wayne, on the other hand, rejects the idea because he is now a fugitive. Dell appears to be frustrated because she must treat Wayne's injury on her own. Dell then approached Trish and Jenny for assistance. Instead of assisting, they both forced Wayne to take drugs. Wayne, who had never used drugs before, attempted to decline, but Trish and Jenny shoved the drugs straight into Wayne's mouth, and he was soon fast asleep. Dell was surprised the next morning to see Wayne sitting across from her, staring at her with a strange expression on his face. Wayne expressed his delight at seeing Delegate Dell, on the other hand, suspected Wayne of being high on drugs. Wayne inquires as to why Dell is sleeping in the bathtub, but before she can respond, Trish and Jenny burst into the bathroom and tell them to hide because Jenny's father is on his way. Instead of hiding, Wayne confronted Jenny's father and told him the truth, shocking him enough to be speechless and decide to leave. Meanwhile, Sergeant Geller and Jay approach Dell's father and brothers, who are being treated in the hospital for injuries sustained in a beating. They ask him to tell them about the incident at Alabaster High involving Wayne and Delegate Dell's father, on the other hand, couldn't hold back his rage and blamed everything on Sergeant Geller. He regarded him as incompetent to perform his duties as a police officer because he had not been able to locate Wayne and Dell until now. Wayne and Dell, on the other hand, decided to stop at a convenience store to get fuel and supplies before continuing their journey. While Dell was using the restroom, Wayne saw a news report on television about a gang incident at Alabaster High. Dell's father was attacked and severely injured, necessitating an ambulance ride to the hospital. Wayne's expression changed when he realized this, as if he felt deeply responsible for Dell's father's misfortune. Following that, Wayne informed Dell of her father's condition and suggested that she pay him a visit at the hospital, believing that her father was dying. Wayne chose to wait outside while Dell entered the hospital. Dell was about to enter her father's treatment room when she heard her father scolding her brothers with swearing and harsh words, which brought back memories of her father scolding her and treating her harshly after her mother died. Meanwhile, Wayne was waiting for Dell outside when he was approached by a young man named Bradley, who purchased a bag of cookies from a vending machine. The young man then informed Wayne that he had recently gotten a 19-year-old girl pregnant, which had completely changed his life, especially since he feels unprepared to be a father and build a household. Bradley expressed interest in Wayne's motorcycle after hearing his story. Soon after, Dell approached Wayne and asked him to buy liquor. She then prepares a cocktail of liquor and milk for her father. Dell is admitted to the hospital for the second time. However, as they approach Dell's father's treatment room, Wayne and Dell notice two police officers standing guard in the corridor. They ran into the nearest room, which was a morgue. Knowing that someone was on their way, Wayne and Dell hid beneath one of the coffins. It was later revealed that the two police officers who had entered the morgue were there to identify the body. The two cops finally left after confirming that the corpse they saw was not the suspect in the murder case they were looking for. Dell then tells Wayne about his father's behavior, which shifted dramatically after his mother died. She stated that when her father died, she would have no one else, but Wayne stated that she now had him, and they kissed. Dell sneaked into her father's treatment room, handed him the drink she had made, and chatted briefly before leaving with Wayne. But then Wayne and Dell happened to run into Sergeant Geller, who pursued them both. Sergeant Geller finally cornered Wayne and Dell and tried to speak kindly to them. He convinces them to abandon whatever they were planning to do in Florida out of concern for their own safety and future. However, Wayne and Dell ignore Sergeant Geller, who is immobilized, and flee. Jay, who is aware of this, then pursues Wayne and Dell outside the hospital. Jay paralyzed the young man, thinking he was Wayne because he was wearing the same jacket and was about to ride his motorcycle, and it turned out that he was not Wayne, but Bradley. Wayne and Dell apparently escaped by taking a ride in someone else's car to Florida. When Wayne and Dell arrived in Florida, they decided to stop at a convenience store and get some food. The shop was then invaded by a gang of delinquent men who made a racket. Dell then offered Wayne a cup of coffee once he was outside. Wayne vomited the coffee he drank back onto the hood of someone's car because he didn't like coffee. He was surprised, however, when he saw the car, which was very similar to his late father's car. After making a commotion in the shop, one of the delinquents came out and ordered Wayne to clean the hood of his car. 
Wayne was incensed, but he chose to follow the bad boy's orders, especially since he was with his friends. The other bad boys appeared and rushed into the car after he cleaned the dirt off the car's hood. Wayne recognized one of the delinquents, who turned out to be the man in the photograph his father had shown him before his death. A man suspected of stealing his father's car. After they leave, Wayne informs Del that the car belongs to his father. He then returned to the shop, where he obtained the addresses of the delinquents and rushed to their residence. Once there, Wayne asks Del to outweet the car so they can take him away while he faces the bad guys alone. Wayne purposefully started a fight with them, causing his face to be battered. However, when the rail fight broke out, a woman appeared out of nowhere and attempted to break it up. When Wayne and the woman looked at each other, they were taken aback because it turned out that they were the mother and her son. Wayne's mother, Maureen, apparently abandoned him when he was five years old. Maureen later married Calvin, the man in Wayne's father's photo, and the young man who asked Wayne to clean the hood of his car was Reggie, Wayne's stepbrother. Wayne and Dell are then invited to lunch by his mother and her new family, where Reggie attempts to annoy Wayne by spoiling Maureen, despite the fact that Reggie is not Maureen's biological son. Wayne then informed his mother that his father had passed away. Maureen immediately fell silent and couldn't say anything after learning of Wayne's father's, Calvin's, and Reggie's deaths. However, things quickly thaw, and Reggie mocks Wayne once more, making him envious of his close relationship with Maureen. But then Wayne, irritated, threw the bowl at Reggie, satisfied that he had gotten back at him. While Wayne and Dell are discussing their next plan, Reggie approaches and takes Wayne somewhere, while Maureen asks Dell to help her wash the dishes in the kitchen. Dell and Maureen appear to be conversing casually until Dell mentioned Maureen, who had abandoned her family when Wayne was very young. Dell becomes irritated and drops Maureen's favorite pottery bowl. Meanwhile, Reggie showed him his new car, which his parents had given him as a birthday present. Wayne appeared irritated, particularly after Calvin purposefully irritated Wayne by telling him to change the radiator water. Wayne became irritated, slammed the car hood, and drove away from the two of them. When Wayne entered the kitchen, he noticed Dell sweeping up the pottery shards on the floor. Wayne then assisted her and then looked at the refrigerator door where there were several photos of Maureen who appeared to be content with her new family. Wayne was devastated because his mother apparently preferred to live with his new family rather than with herself, her biological son. Maureen then showed him some of his childhood photos, which he keeps neatly organized. She then took Wayne and Dell shopping for clothes and toiletries, though Dell seemed uninterested because she felt neglected, especially since Wayne was more willing to comply with his mother's wishes than Dell was. Maureen then asked Dell to photograph herself and Wayne as a memento to be displayed on the refrigerator door. Dell steals at the shopping center because Wayne continues to ignore her, who appears pleased that he is now getting his mother's attention. When the mall security officer checked Dell's bag and discovered the item she stole, Maureen persuaded the man not to prosecute Dell because she is still a teenager who only needs guidance and firm action at home. The security guard understood and let them go after returning Dell's stolen items. When Dell arrived at the house, he questioned Wayne's presence, as he had only come to get his father's car and get out of there. However, it appears that after finding the car and reuniting with his mother, his attitude shifted dramatically, and he appeared content with his new home and family, which he had longed for. Wayne claimed he discovered a bus ticket to Los Angeles in Dell's bag and assumed she would abandon it at any moment. They then got into an argument, and an enraged Dell decided to sleep in the living room with a pillow and blanket. Soon after, Wayne began to worry about Dell, then left the room and realized she was gone. The scene then shifts back in time to a young man running scared towards his house. There was a knock on the door, but before the young man could open it, he was suddenly attacked by someone who brutally beat and killed him. Returning to the present, Dell was seen visiting a public swimming pool after leaving Maureen's house and deciding to spend the night there after obtaining permission from a female guard. The next day, Wayne and his mother discussed their next steps, with Maureen considering making amends for leaving Wayne. Wayne seemed pleased when he heard this and then assisted his mother in making an aromatherapy candle display case, which Maureen was doing as a side business. Calvin, however, was enraged and told Maureen to immediately kick Wayne out of his house because he didn't want him to live in his house, let alone pay for his living expenses, despite the fact that Wayne now had no one else. Meanwhile, Orlando and the principal, who were on their way to Florida to join Wayne and Dell, were nearly hit by a dog in the middle of the road. The incident caused the principal's car to go off the track, but no one was injured or killed. Dell, who had just awoken from a deep sleep, was taken aback by the situation in the swimming pool, which was already crowded with visitors. Dell appears pleased to see mothers swimming with their babies. However, the female guard approached her again and asked her to leave immediately. Dell refused and purposefully entered the swimming pool fully clothed. Meanwhile, after being severely reprimanded by Calvin, Maureen goes to Wayne and tells him, with a heavy heart, that he must leave the house because it is Calvin's house, and she has no right to let anyone, including Wayne, stay there without Calvin's permission. Wayne is enraged because he feels betrayed, and he then destroys the items in the house and threatens to take away his father's car. 
Calvin and Reggie, on the other hand, appear to have anticipated this, allowing them to quickly apprehend and imprison Wayne. Meanwhile, Dell, who was returning to Brockton, Massachusetts, couldn't afford a bus ticket and had to beg at the bus station. But then, by chance, Orlando and the principal appear, and they finally meet. Dell embraced the principal and sobbed bitterly in his arms. Wayne, who is being held captive by Calvin, is about to be executed by the man. Sergeant Geller and Jay then appear and ask Calvin and Reggie where Wayne is. Sergeant Geller appears to have anticipated Wayne's visit to Florida. Reggie then shows Wayne being held captive and incapacitates Jay before threatening Sergeant Geller to go in there and kill them both. Meanwhile, Dell informs the principal in Orlando that she wishes to return home because Wayne has begun to ignore her after experiencing the joy of being reunited with his mother. However, Orlando informed her that Wayne had committed a heinous crime while attempting to protect someone very close to him. Even he would not hesitate to use violence to the point of taking his own life in order to protect those closest to him. Dell realized after hearing Orlando's story that Wayne had done something to the young man who had threatened to spread obscene videos about Dell's mother, and that the young man was the one who was attacked while hiding in his house. Orlando informed Dell that Wayne had kept Dell a secret all along and that he would not hesitate to use violence to ensure her safety and security. Dell stood up and left, followed by Orlando and the principal. Return to Sergeant Geller, who accepts Calvin's challenge to a one-on-one -on -one fight with his bare hands. Although Calvin boasted and underestimated Sergeant Geller at first, Sergeant Geller eventually overthrew the big man with a little help from Wayne. Sergeant Geller then charged Wayne with reckless behavior and took him to the Ocala Police Department for questioning. Sergeant Geller was successful in convincing the Florida police to transfer Wayne's case to Brockton, Massachusetts, where he could handle it directly. Sergeant Geller believed Wayne was not as powerful as Dell's father and brothers claimed, and he was not as brutal as the young man himself. Sergeant Geller then told Wayne about his relationship with his father, and Wayne appeared to be moved. He then gave Wayne some advice and hoped to see him again in Brockton. Meanwhile, Dell, the principal, and Orlando visit Maureen to inquire about Wayne's whereabouts. However, the woman stated that if the police arrested Wayne, Calvin would also be arrested for assaulting a police officer. Dell then went to the Ocala Police Department, while the principal and Orlando stayed with Maureen to care for their dog, which was about to give birth. Reggie, on the other hand, purposefully releases a beast in his animal captivity in order to distract the cops and easily enter the police station to retrieve his car and kill Wayne. Not long after, the police received numerous reports from residents informing them of wild animals breaking into their homes, forcing the police to mobilize all troops to deal with wild animals roaming residential areas. Meanwhile, Reggie, who had arrived at the police station, was able to retrieve his car keys after injuring a cop. Reggie and Wayne then engage in a fierce and brutal battle. Reggie, on the other hand, drops a cupboard on Wayne's emaciated body, immobilizing him. Reggie then steals a police rifle and attempts to murder Wayne. Dell, on the other hand, arrived just in time and managed to stop him. Dell appears enraged that Reggie is about to murder Wayne, whom she now proudly admits is her boyfriend. Dell rushed to assist Wayne after dropping Reggie. Reggie, on the other hand, quickly got up and attacked Dell, strangling her and about to kill her. When Wayne saw that his girlfriend's life was in danger, he mustered all of his remaining strength to get up, grab his pride hammer, and knocked Reggie down until his golden teeth fell out, knocking him unconscious. Following that, Wayne instructs Dell to locate the car keys in Reggie's jacket and rushes there to assist Wayne, who appears to be having difficulty walking due to his injuries. Dell suggested they go to the hospital due to Wayne's serious injuries, but Wayne refuses because if they go to the hospital, the police will arrest him right away. Elsewhere, the principal is overjoyed that his dog delivered the puppy safely, and he names them after some of his deceased dogs. Dell could no longer hold back her tears as despair and anxiety filled her heart, and she intended to express her love for Wayne. Wayne, on the other hand, confessed his love for Dell before their car was hit by Dell's father, causing Dell to faint. Dell was then taken away by her brothers, while Dell's father approached Wayne and beat him to death in retaliation for what he had done to them. When Wayne learned that Dell had been kidnapped, he was forced to surrender. He tried with all his might to reach Dell's necklace, which had fallen to the ground, before passing out just as the ambulance arrived to save him. Following the incident, Sergeant Geller arrested Reggie for assaulting a police officer and causing chaos at the police station, while Wayne was sentenced to incarceration. Wayne, on the other hand, has no regrets about his actions and regards Dell's necklace as the most valuable thing in his life.